We were looking for the Cycline or Cycline Loop Trail. It says Upheaval Dome. This right here says the Cycline Loop Trail. So this is where we're gonna start today. Cycline Loop Trail is very strenuous, difficult to follow, involves a 1300 foot elevation change and is recommended for experienced hikers only. It is not recommended in summer heat Upheaval Dome is best viewed from the overlook. Distance is 8.3 miles. That warning sign is not going to deter us. This is the first time I've seen a sign like this say strenuous. So I am a little nervous. Last time we were in Canyonlands, we did get lost. And this sign comes with lots of warnings. It says for experienced hikers only. So if we complete this, no problem. I'm gonna consider ourselves experienced hikers. Obviously this is not as early as we could possibly be on the trail, but considering we watched the sunrise, made it to the trailhead, both eight. What time is it? Like 7.15. 7.15. That's a pretty early start for us. It's not hot yet, so let's see how long it takes. First overlook. Second overlook. I'd say let's just call it a day right here. We walked a quarter mile, bam. Quarter mile in, and we are slightly turned around. It says both directions. Oh, I see now. Don't go that direction to the overlook. Go that direction. We are not the first people to do this. We do it on purpose. You can't see the dome from this trail, so we wanted to see the dome. Oh we just God. we just didn't tell you that first. That's 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 all. Oh, gotta keep our wits about us. Take pictures if we need. Looks like you could go towards the right, but actually there is a visible cairn straight ahead. They really don't want us out here. Okay, I'm gonna give a one mile update. The trail is actually decently well marked with the cairns. It's well beaten. There's a couple of places where you have to stop and look around. Just kind of take your time and go slow and look up every once in a while. And so far, after one mile, we're doing okay. This is cool. I know it's just a shoe print, but it definitely looks like a massive dinosaur print. got lost again but overall we're still doing pretty good with this trail we like it one crazy fact we learned last year while we were here arches gets almost 2 million visitors a year reminds me of a theme park little short trails some harder ones but lots of things to pull off and see right off the road Canyonlands which is literally right across the street gets under half a million 400,000 I don't understand why. I think it might be our favorite park. The favorite park that you've never heard of. Considering we're both really big into mountains and forests and things that are alive and green, it's crazy that this place has such a big impact. Oh, I almost fell. It is crazy that this place has such a big impact on us. I can't really explain why. But you just have to come here and check it out for yourself. We came from way up there 
and have already meandered our way down and it just keeps going. We just dropped like 700 feet. We found this hike actually on Reddit and not all trails. One of the most recent comments said that they went counterclockwise and they had to climb what we just walked down. And that was after seven miles. I said it wasn't so bad and I guess it would be okay, but I'm glad we're walking down it, hoping the other side is much more gradual. This is automatically one of my favorite sections of a trail out of any park we've been to. This is quite steep. Canyonlands is killing it with their trail game. Wow, look at that. How perfect and convenient. It's a good view. Tell me. If you hike this trail, you gotta sit in this chair. Make room, make room. Ooh, ooh, that's cold. Kind of cold. Top three wow. favorite feature on a hike ever. Wow. <laughs> if anything, I don't know. Hike the two two miles here. Yeah. We're gonna do a two mile update, and so far it's amazing and beautiful, and we've dropped a thousand feet. We still have to climb back up that thousand feet, but I think it's supposed to be less steep on the other side. Hopefully. The throne we just showed you, and the co-captain right next to it. Let's keep moving. By the way, we can't prove this, but a hummingbird almost landed on the camera as we were trying to take a picture. It was awesome. The hummingbirds out here are black too. I've never seen a black hummingbird. They look like giant bugs. All right, are we on the canyon floor? I think so. That's good news. But that truly means that we have to scale that wall again at some point. Mm-hmm, 1,300 feet. Never not tripping. Snack time. Hear me out. I know the researching ahead of time is really important but it makes for a pretty exciting trail when you don't know what to expect and we had no clue what this was going into it like i didn't look up any pictures or anything I did not know we'd be hiking to the bottom of the canyon now we're on the dry river bed walking in and out of rocks and it's uh it's pretty cool we're gonna do a three mile update i don't think it would be a canyon lands hike if it wasn't for a dry river bed at some point I understand why all the warning signs were there. This is strenuous, it's hot, it's desert. But so far, except for our little mishap right in the beginning, it hasn't been too bad. Having lots of fun, and we have seen nobody. Haven't heard anybody, nothing. This way. The sun is definitely getting up there, but there have been plenty of places where you can seek some shade, and it's been wonderful. I'd say two out of the three miles were in the shade. And it's because we started so early. Yep. So go clockwise, start by 7.30, and the start will be quite pleasant. I don't see Karen over there. It looks pretty well beaten. Let's try it. Trailhead, 4.9 miles. Check that out. Somebody built this. Yeah. It's crazy. Let's keep 
going that direction. The whole time we've been out here, we're like, oh, there's not really any animals. Saw some lizards, thought we heard a rattlesnake. And then we see like a whole herd of deer. No, they're they goats. Bleated. They're goats? Yeah, honey. Okay. That's the first time we've ever seen that animal though. Yes, absolutely. But they were all different ages. There was, it was like a whole family, like a huge, there was 13 of them I counted. Oh, 13? 13. Jeez. That was really cool. I don't know if I saw 13, maybe. All right. What else can we find? We're gonna do a five mile update. We've been on trail three and a half hours and we're gonna start to go up now. Oh, that's steep. It looks like you would go that direction, but I see a cairn in this direction. Cool! Well, this part does get a little tricky. Oh, not so bad though. Definitely done worse. Sweet. I feel like we're almost to the top. Oh, this feels nice. It's almost like a, a wind tunnel. I would not want to go down this part. First? Right. Right, it's a lot easier climbing up. This is more of a scramble. Yeah. Before I was like steps. Yep. Um, you still with us? I think we can just go through here. Wow, that way. You should feel very fortunate if you ever find that little sign. This is crazy. I would not be able to do this in any other shoe. When you see this video and you see this trail, I don't want you to get the wrong impression of us. I promise we're not this cool. It's just Canyonlands. It'll make anyone look like an awesome adventurer. Although I'd like to think that we are. Piece of cake. I see one, and two, and three. Jeez, almost headbutted that. Will you take this? Whee. Feel like we're in the home stretch. We probably aren't, so don't listen to me. I was naive to believe that last bit of climbing would be the end. It just levels out. We've still got quite a bit of height to get over. There's actual running water here. Be perfect height. Just gets better and better. Oh, we're going up again. Oh, hummingbird! Yes! 
over there. Look at him, he's green. Not black. Have you ever punched your fist through a rock? Well, I just did. Perfect little handle. <laughs> Says the guy who makes nine out of ten jokes that are just awful and not funny. So think about all my jokes. We've been slacking on our mileage update because Nathan's watch is no longer exactly accurate, only comparing it to the signs that we've seen. We are starting to burn out just slightly. <laughs> like we can reach the end here at any time. I am way too hopeful that this might be the end of the climb. Do you think we're pretty much at the top now? I guess it doesn't look like it, does it? And about eight and a half miles. So we've got to be close. Famous last words. I just heard a voice coming from above for the first time since we started this hike. I'm gonna take that as a great sign that we are close to the end. I do believe that is it. Son of a gun, it goes right back down. <sighs> One of these times I'm gonna be right. Well, uh, you sure there's no repair in it? No. Amazon, here we go. We're so exhausted that that doesn't even phase us. Like, who cares? Yeah, can I just say, the first four, no, five miles, fantastic. Some of the best, maybe the best. Loved it. These last four, five, six miles, who knows at this point. Well, let's just say I'm not having quite as much fun this time. Straight up not having a good time, bro. I think the heat's getting to me. I think they're creating more trail as we go. It just keeps going, I don't get it. Yeah. Right. I do apologize for the constant sniffling and possibly runny nose that you might see. Just kind of happens. So I just wanted to tell you I can't control it and I'm sorry I'm trying to take care of it. Uh, na, 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 na. I think I get the signage right. This says 8.1. That one says 8.3. And my watch. What's it say? 10.32 miles. What? Six hours and 15 minutes. Whoo! I believe the 10 miles. We hiked a half mile exactly up to the lookout and came back. That took about 15 minutes. So take that off the top. I'm not sure quite how accurate this is, but one of our last hikes, I think one of them in Yosemite, we walked over a mile further than the actual trail just because of the shots that we set up and having to walk and double back to pick up the camera. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Not, not complaining. We had a great time now that we're here. I swear we're not complaining. I just want some water and a popsicle. According to the sign, that trails for experienced hikers only. We're officially experienced hikers. I'm gonna rate this one on toughness. Probably a seven and a half or an eight. I was gonna say the same thing. The mileage is there, you still gotta climb, and it's hot. If I were to do this again, I would skip the sunrise, start at daybreak at around six, and it would have been just a little bit easier, and I would have brought more water. We each drank two liters, so if we would have had one more liter, that would have been enough. It's a lot of water for us. We're gonna hopefully go back to our amazing campsite and not do anything else the rest of the day. It's 1.37. Good thing our campsite might be close, assuming we get the same one as we did. Yay! Home sweet home. Huh?
I don't know if I have the energy for a shower, but I'll do my best. Something we don't normally do after a hike, but I've secretly always wanted, is to take a nap. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. I think this is our new favorite spot. Yep. It is so cute. Can we, yeah, can we reiterate that? Like, sure it, honey, that thing was cute though. Like much cuter than a mouse. It wasn't a mouse. I don't know what it was. It hopped. But it ran over my foot. <laughs> oh, I would have freaked out. Ran something. something. Oh. 